Welcome back everyone. In today's tutorial, we'll be covering the talking headless effect seen in Bella Porch's Build a Bitch music video. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is shoot your subject on a green screen. I shot this a couple different times and played around with it on After Effects and I found that the easiest and most realistic method to do this was just having your subject on the green screen, keeping their neck as straight as possible and as still as possible. And even when you're talking, especially with guys, you'll probably have this problem, is the Adam's apple and the throat moving. It's really going to throw off the effect because you can see the skin moving. And if you have a mask right Right here and a part of this skin that you see in frame then passes that mask and then comes back up or the Adam's apple it's going to look fake and I watched this music video back again and I noticed that oftentimes they're covering the point of contact between the neck and the table or whatever the head is sitting on but it's much easier to make it look realistic if your subject isn't talking all right once you have that footage of your subject you're gonna want to shoot your background so just make sure that you are matching the camera angles appropriately and sizing it for however big the head is going to be so I just filmed right where my camera is sitting right now which is just on my desk and made sure that the camera angle would be about eye level for when that head is then edited into the shot all right open up your footage in After Effects and the first order of business is going to be to mask around the head and the neck and then you're going to key out your green screen footage. Now I'm not gonna go into the ins and outs of keying green screen, but if you want a little more in depth from one of my tutorials, there's one here, it's the shrink your subject in a video where I cover the key light effect on After Effects. And if you want an even more in depth tutorial on that, there is someone on YouTube named Chris Coart who has a really good tutorial on the key light effect as well. Now once your subject is keyed, you can go ahead and put the subject on the background and reset Size and reposition the head where you see fit. Now I duplicated the head layer and made it a 3D object. We're going to be making the reflection. So now that it's 3D, we can flip it on the X rotation and then just move it down. I then brought up the scale and click that little link box to unlink it so that I can then change the Y scale separately so it's not uniformly scaling. So now we're just shrinking the Y axis a little bit just for the distortion and the angle of the reflection on the head. Now don't forget to move your reflection layer under the original layer. I lowered the opacity of the reflection just a little bit to bring up opacity quickly. You can just hit T on the keyboard. And then I repositioned the mask appropriately. So on mine, you know, the desk ends so the reflection shouldn't just continue. Just gonna adjust the mask so that the reflection definitely ends when the table ends. Now if you're having problems with the neck matching the reflection of the neck at the point of contact region, like they won't line up perfectly, then what's gonna help you is by using the puppet tool. Now I'm not gonna completely explain the puppet tool in this tutorial because I've done it in a few other ones. You can see one right here in a float yourself in a video one, but it's pretty straightforward when you check that out. But anyway, then you can put puppet pins in the corners of the reflection and then match it with the actual neck layer and then the point of contact will now be connecting. And now to make the reflection look more realistic, I went to the effects tab and searched for turbulent displace and then added it to the reflection layer. I boosted the amount and lowered the size and then turned it to turbulent smoother to try and match the texture of my desk. My desk isn't perfectly reflective by any means. It's metal, but it's got the texture of wood on the top. We've got some jagged reflections going on right now on the layer. I adjusted the opacity again and then added the effect Gaussian blur to that reflection layer and then boosted it to 10 and clicked that box that says repeat edge pixels. And then I changed the blend mode of that entire layer to overlay. All right, now the last step of this effect is to add the shadows. So we're going to go layer, new, black, solid, we're going to be adding that shadow on that point of contact between the neck and the table. You're going to want to lower the opacity so it's not just a completely black shadow and then also boost the feather a little bit. Now we're going to create one more fake shadow so go layer new black solid again and now this shadow is going to be of the head. So you're just gonna create a basic mask and you can play around with it a little bit. And this shadow should be even lighter than the point of contact shadow. And I feathered it just a little bit more. And that's it, that is how you do the talking head effect seen in Bella Porch's Build a Bitch music video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.